some of the risk factors for diabetes is if you have pre-diabetes or if your doctor mentioned that you have borderline diabetes. Uh, if you have a family member, you have a family history of diabetes, your father, mother or your brother or your grandparents have diabetes. If your age is over 40 and if you are from Maori, Pacific or Southeast Asian ethnicity, the age is if you're over 25 years of age. And another risk factor is the polycystic ovary syndrome, which is called PCOS. And then if you have diabetes during pregnancy or you have delivered a large baby, uh, it's kind of warning sign that you may get diabetes in the later stage of your life. And if you have a history of high blood pressure, heart attack or stroke, and if you take medications for any illness like schizophrenia or bipolar disease, and above all, if you're overweight with a large waist size, for females, it's more than 80 centimeters, and for men, it's 94 centimeters. But if you are from a Southeast Asian origin, especially for men, if your waist size is 89 centimeters or more than that, you are at the high risk of having diabetes. So if you have a big, belly, big waist size, you are actually at the high risk of uh, having diabetes. Pacific and Māori eat a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of taro, a lot of bread, a lot of rice. And obesity is a result of just eating too much food, uh, foods high in fat and high in sugar. But what happens if you're obese due to bad eating habits and a lack of physical activity is that you start to form a layer outside the body cells, okay? And it makes it very hard for the insulin, the key, to open that door, so to allow the sugar to go in, okay? And that's why diabetes, type two diabetes, it sort of just sits in the bloodstream and over time it creates those damages. But one of the things that Pacific and Māori need to understand as well is that type two diabetes is a lifestyle disease and therefore it's preventable. A very few people know 80% of type 2 diabetes is preventable by making small lifestyle changes, like if you're overweight, losing the weight, if being more physically active, quit smoking, controlling your blood pressure. By making all these small changes, you can actually lead a life free from diabetes. I think diabetes is one of those diseases that now has no boundaries. It's not an old person's disease. We're starting to find that young teenagers are on the verge of, of diabetes. So it's important for them um, to get checked, see a doctor, get their heart and get their diabetes checked. It's always good to know where you're at and, and what you need to do in order to avoid becoming diabetic or also understand if you are diabetic, how to further manage or to move away from, from diabetes. As I mentioned before, it, it is preventable. Type 2 diabetes is preventable. And especially if you have pre-diabetes or so-called borderline diabetes, you can actually revert it back. By making all these small lifestyle changes, you can actually prevent yourself to getting into type 2 diabetes. But if you want to revert it back, you have to act now.